I'm Amy, and I'm a product manager here at mTrigger. I'm going to be helping you walk through some basic setup of your mTrigger biofeedback system, as well as help you get acquainted with the app. So let's get started. So this is what you'll receive in a typical mTrigger shipment, and this is an individual unit, which is our standard kit. Our clinical bundle has all the same items, just in larger quantities, and you can check that information out on our purchase page. So you'll see here that you're gonna start off with your welcome insert, and that's likely how you wound up here, so welcome. And now I'm gonna get into what's in the rest of the box. So the first thing you'll find is your mTrigger unit itself. And that is the main hardware and electronic component of the system. You can see the serial number on the back, which we'll get into later how that relates to Bluetooth. You'll also find a charger for your mTrigger device in this box. That is a micro USB standard charger and that is because the unit itself is rechargeable via the port on the side here. Next, you'll find your electrode connector cables. Those are both four feet long and attached to two electrodes each and then plug into the mTrigger device. Next, you'll find your mTrigger custom sensing electrodes in various quantities depending on your order. And finally, you'll find your mobile device stand. We're actually using one of these right here to prop up the iPad. You simply pop it open for easier viewing of the mobile interface. And that's all you need to get going. We're gonna power your M trigger on by sliding into the down position and the M should illuminate white. You're going to unravel your cables We'll start with just one. Open up a fresh pouch of electrodes and plug them in to this end. Then you'll plug this end of the cable into the unit and you're ready to go. Start by opening up a new pouch of electrodes. We'll insert these cables into the electrode beads. You'll see that there are four electrodes in each pouch. They're two by two squares, but you can cut them down to a smaller size if needed. They also have a sensing array spread over the entire surface of the electrode. Once you've removed them from the plastic backing, you're going to place them on your target muscle. You're going to want to place both of these electrodes that are plugged into your first cable onto the same muscle body but not touching. And you'll want to place them along the parallel lines of the muscle fibers. When you're done with your session, you can replace the electrodes onto the plastic backing for storage. And you want to make sure that you seal those back in their bags so that they don't dry out over time. And you're ready to go. Grab a phone or tablet and ensure that you've completed the basic setup steps outlined on your welcome insert, as well as on this page of the website. Power your mTrigger on, download the app, and establish your Bluetooth connection. Then proceed to the app navigation series below to familiarize yourself with mTrigger's settings and features.